Good morning and welcome to our prayers for the 2nd of May, the 5th Sunday of Easter. We pray. God of love, may we abide in your presence and so abide in your love. As we freely receive your love, let us freely share with others all that you have given us through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit for ever and ever. Amen. So now we hear from the 22nd Psalm, reading from verse 24. For he has not despised or disdained the suffering of the afflicted one. He has not hidden his face from him, but has listened to his cry for help. From you comes the theme of my praise in the great assembly. Before those who fear you, I will fulfill my vows. The poor will eat and be satisfied. They will seek the Lord and praise him. May your hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth remember and turn to the Lord. And all the families of the nations will bow before him. For dominion belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. All the rich of the earth will feast and worship. All who go down to the dust will kneel before him. Those who cannot keep themselves alive, prosperity will serve him. Future generations will be told about the Lord. They will proclaim his righteousness to a people yet unborn. For he has done it. And now we hear from the Gospels. From the Gospel according to St John, chapter 15, verse 1. I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes. So you'll become even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the words I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me, I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given to you. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Thanks be to God for his word to us. Amen. And now our prayers for this Sunday. <clears throat> Father of all, we pray for your church, that it may be a caring, loving and accepting church. We pray for the outreach of your church, that it may seek out the needy, the outcasts and the rejected, that love may be revealed in action. Lord, as you abide in us, may we abide in you. We come with sorrow for all who have been denied freedom or peace. We pray for places where communities have been destroyed, where families have been divided or separated, for children who have lost contact with their parents. Remember all who seek to heal that which divides. And particularly remember all refugees and slaves throughout the world. Lord, as you abide in us, may we abide in you. 
We give thanks for areas where people can exercise their talents, where people are free to think and act without hindrance. We pray for all who are rich in our world with their gifts. We pray for families and friends. Remember our families and friends at this time. Fam family and friends to whom we might be separated at this time. Lord, you abide in us. May we abide in you. We think of all whose lives have been marred by their past, for lives destroyed by bad memories, hatred, guilt or resentment. We pray for all those who are weary of life and tired of serving others. In the power of the risen Lord, we ask for renewal, refreshment and restoration. Lord of life and love, we praise for all who have borne fruit in your service, for all who have forwarded your kingdom, for all who shared their love and goodness. We pray for all our loved departed ones. Lord, as you abide in us, may we abide in you. Now, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. All who say they love God must love their fellow humans. All who seek peace must share the peace that is offered. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Abide in the power of the Almighty. Abide in the love of the Saviour. Abide in the fellowship of the Spirit, that you may bear much fruit. And the blessing of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen.